Right, we are on to the fuselage of the Gentile Lady. Um, now, the fuselage comes in two halves. So my advice is I would cut all of these out and we've got, you're going to need some of this as well and I'm going to talk you through the process. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to build them on the bench, the two sides, because there's going to have some long runs that go along around the outside, the sort of the perimeter of the fuselage. Now my advice is, is um, I'm just going to put some tape down first because that's going to stop it sticking to the bench. Uh, another little tip here is remember to just with a little bit of pencil, perhaps just down at the tail end, just write a little R and a little L because you want to make sure that you're actually building two halves and it will become more apparent when I start um, putting the bits together. So just get your pieces out, give them a good sand and then uh, let's show you how we're going to do it. Okay, I have cut out my fuselage sides, my wing templates, or my wing supports and the formers. Let me show you how we're going to do this build process. It's dead easy, but I just want to talk you through a couple of things to just eliminate any potential mistakes along the way. So let's show you what I'm doing. Okay, here are my basic four fuselage sides. Now, what I have done is, and I've marked it down this end so nobody's ever going to see it, but a good tip is I've just marked this left and this right because when these get glued together like so, they're going to be built like that. What you don't want to do is accidentally build it like that and you end up with two left side fuselages. So let's just put that back and that's also with the writing on the inside, then I know I'm not going to get that wrong. So the first step we're going to do is let's just glue these together. I'm going to use um, alphatic glue and what I am, little tip here, when you're gluing it, what you want to do is when you've got it glued in place, I am just going to run my ruler across there to make sure that that is nice and square like so just stick in mind on the bottom there and that'll make sure that you've got it nice and then when I've got it glued I'm just going to drop a little pin in here a pin there and a pin there just to hold it all in place so I've got my fuselage sides are uh, sat down there gluing together now the next thing you're going to need are these wing seats and you'll notice they've got a little curve here and the idea is that this curve is going to match this edge here. Now, you'll notice also that they fit either side of where these formers are going to go. Now, I wouldn't be gluing the formers in at the moment, but my advice is if you just trial fit your formers into there like so, like that, and this one here remembering the holes go at the top of the fuselage. Now, I'm not gluing these in at the moment. All I'm gonna do is, this just makes sure that when I fit these, that I'm gonna get them in exactly the right position. So that's the next thing. I'm just gonna glue these. And what you wanna do is, is just get your ruler and make sure that, it's at, that the ruler's up square and it's, you've got a nice straight edge along here with the pair of them. So you don't want this wing seat, this is where this is extra strength for the wing to seat. You don't want this overhanging the fuselage. It's got to be, this edge has got to be straight all the way up. So that's the next thing is. And then when you've got them in place, because I'm using alphatic, I can then take these out of the way and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Right, so we have to add this three mil squared is going to fit on there. We're going to glue it all the way down just, and we're going to finish it just in front of this former. So what we want is if we just put that former there, the idea is, is that this is going to fit up flush against there. So when you want to do your cutting, my advice is, so we're not gluing that former in at the moment. I mean, you could do this with the, with the formers glued in already. But I'm just, so I've just taken a measurement there, look, so make sure that's square. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark that there. 
like so. So I'm going to cut that and then that's getting glued to here. Again, make sure that the um, that the stringer, there's a little gash bit, let me just show you. But this gash bit here, let me show you. So make sure that the, stri the, the stringer, this 3mm, does not overhang the fuselage. So just go wrong with a nice straight edge and then just glue that in place. I'm going to use our fatic glue and because there's a little bit of an angle to them you might just need a few pins just to hold it in place. So I'm going to do um, all the way along here like so and then I'm going to go all the way to the front of the fuselage um, here. Sorry. <laughs> all the way along here right to the front because um, this bad boy is going to be sitting on there like that. We're not doing this bit here because this is where your canopy is going to go. So let's crack on with this. Right, so here's our formers. So this one here with the three holes in the top, that's going behind the wing seat. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that in there like so. And then I'm going to get my ruler, I'm going to pop it up there like so, and then make sure that it's nice and square. It's a cool shot that, isn't it? Look at that, look. Anyway, so I'm going to do that there. I'm going to do the same for um, this one here. Remember the hole? And in fact, the way the um, formers are cut, you can't get them in the wrong way anyway. Um, so there's that one there. And then we've got the little one at the nose, which needs to be square. And then all the way down here, we've got the small one at this end. Just glue those in. Um, I'm using super fatic. Right, well, hopefully you've got one fuselage that looks like this with your stringers. And then you've got your other half. And we obviously remembered that uh, when you're lifting them off the bench, like I said before, put your finger or your hand right next to where you're taking the pin out. Because if the pin gets stuck, it's easy just to rip the whole of the fuselage off the bench. So just remember that when you're removing the pins, just put your finger right by where the pin is going to come out. Um, sometimes I'll even, you know, where the glue's, where the glue's uh, up, sort of got really gripped hold of the um, pin. I've even used, used a pair of these. Get it right down tight next to the pin, but I've got my hand rock, pinning it down to support the fuselage. Right, so now, what we've got to do now is we've got to join these two bad boys together. So, my advice is, I would start with just doing the two centre ones. So what you want to do is just actually just pop them all together like so. And if there's any resistance, stop and have a look. But mine have gone, mine are going together absolutely beautifully. And then what I've got those two together, and I'm just going to sit that down on the fuselage just to make sure. So I'm going to sit it down on the bench, and that all looks nice and square. Now so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to glue these two. Right, well that's gone very well. Um, I did the two main ones. Just sat it down on the, on the flat surface to make sure that I didn't get any twists in it. Then I added the uh, tail, held that down, and then just made sure I didn't get any twists in it. And now I've just got the nose going off. Now, the next thing we're going to do is some sheeting. Yes, I said sheeting. Now, a little tip here hopefully your long runs are no prouder than the fuselage but what I would suggest is is just have a good look down and make sure that you can't see anything standing proud and if not then you can just run over with this nail like with a nail file just to make sure that everything is sitting flat so we're going to be doing all the bottom and we're doing the top sheeting as well so let's just get these out of the kit and I'll show you what bits we're going to use. You will be looking for this bad boy and uh, not that, not that, not that because that, sorry, not that, not that, but the rest of it we'll be using that as well. Right, you can see basically we're starting at one end and then all this sheeting is fitting on like so. Now my advice is I would go through every sheet exactly where it is. So let's just take this one for example and then take those off 
and then what you want to do is, is just have a good look round to make sure that it's fitting and it is it's fitting lovely so what I'm going to do is I'm using Alf don't use super glue on this or cyanoacrylate the reason being is we're going to want to sand a nice rounded edge on this and you've got super glue on the sides um, it produces a naff finish so please use a PVA or something that sands really nicely um, don't worry about you've got a hole at the end of the fuselage here that's perfectly normal because that's where the elevator push rod's going to come out but we'll talk about that later so I'm now just going to pin these all in place if you've got masking tape you can use masking tape to hold in place but given that we've got this lovely great stringer along here um, just be careful we don't pull them in um, so just get it lying flat and then I'm just going to pin all these to place and also don't forget to actually glue between each sheet as well so I've got my bottom sheeting done. That's not easy to say if you've had a couple of drinks. Right, um, now, one little tip on the top sheeting. Now, um, I was just obviously pre-trialing mine to see how it would fit. And this is the bit that goes right at the tail on this section just here. And obviously when I've put it in place, if I show you that like that, because don't forget this is a development model and I'm making it up as I go along. The stringer is in the way so you're just gonna have to trim the stringer just a little bit before you put this in um, I've actually cut mine away just that bit there that's to allow the plastic tube with the control rod to go through so just a top tip there but once you've got it on you can always cut it away anyway but I'm um, I've just pre-cut mine uh, but just something to be aware of right so I'm gonna wait until this is all dry and then uh, I'm then going to do the top sheeting, which is exactly the same. Um, it's fairly obvious where it all goes. Just remember this bit goes right up by where the wing sits because there's, that's going to sit on there like so. And then everything works backwards. I've done the top sheeting, just remembering to just trim away the inside of that fuselage just to allow the um, tube to come through. Now... I'm going to leave that to dry. Let me just talk you through the next process because we are going to be doing the nose. So in your kit, you will have one of these and one of these. So the idea is this is going to sit on here like so. And then that one is going to sit on there so they get glued down first now the next thing you're going to have which is going to get glued is this now that again gets glued on top now there is a, a cutout of here don't use that in your kit you'll have this which has actually got the grain crossways not lengthways so in other words don't use the um, piece of wood that was filled in there because this has got the uh, cross grain to be able to uh, get the slight curve. So we're doing this first, sitting on there. Again, I'm using um, alphatic resin. That's going to go on. That's going to then go on top. And then the cross grained shape of this, not the long grain, this is then your hatch to fit um, inside or to fit on top you know what I mean right so our fuselage is basically done um, we're not putting the servo tray in yet and I'm going to tell you why a little bit later so don't bother with the servo tray because I'm going to do a complete piece on radio installation cleaning sanding covering Hook. Now the very final thing to do is this will be in your kit, cut these all out, uh, don't even have to worry about taking the tags off you don't want because we're going to sand it. Now little tip here, don't use super glue if you can avoid it. Uh, thin super glue, medium super glue, thick super glue. When we come to sand this, the bolsa sands quicker, is softer than the super glue 
So what you'll find is you'll get a ridge where the super glue is and then the bolts at either side of it has been eroded away. So if you can use a PVA or like the alphatic glues that I'm using, this type of thing. So I'm just going to put them, I'm going to glue these all together. I'm going to clamp them down and leave them, leave them a while to dry off. And then the only other thing to do is just get your sanding block and make sure that your the front of the nose is nice and square and then you, we can glue that on front. Right, so that's basically the nose is on. Now, that's the end of this uh, build video. Um, I am going to do a final video on joining the wings. Um, I am going to give you some advice about what servos uh, to do and if you so the next video you're going to see um, is going to be basically how we're going to sand the wings, how we're going to join the wings, how we're going to sand the tail surfaces and sand the fuselage and then look at the installation. So anyway thanks very much for watching and I'll see you very shortly.